Hello and welcome back to another episode of Heavy Rain. Hope you're liking this so far. If you are, please hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment as well to let me know that you're enjoying this so far. It means a lot. Without further ado, let's just crack on. Oh, she is. This is the one who, who had that dream, wasn't it? When she can't sleep and then we have to do that fight sequence. Yes, it is. Oh, she's looking a bit better this time. <laughs> right, so where are we going? Uh, reception, insomnia. I presume we're going in here. Hello? The atmosphere here is one of concern as there is still no news. Hello, I'm here. What can I do for you? It's creepy already. For you, anything. Feeling the register. He's acting strange already, him, isn't he? Keep an eye on him. Madison Page, 27, single. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. Thanks. The pleasure was all mine. Hmm. That's for sure. You just leave your bike there. What's this? This like the restaurant, okay. Room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. That obnoxious receptionist better not have a spare key to my room. The thought of it leaves me in a cold sweat. <laughs> right, so last floor, let's go up here. These are like always like cheap rooms when you just need a place to stay. What is it? Two or one? Who's that? Oh, it's Ethan. I just realised pressing R2 actually just moves your character. Sir? And it's it's not your thumb right? sticks. <laughs> your thumb sticks do the direction. I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number 207. Are we controlling this? Not yet. Now we are. He's really out of it. What the hell happened? There's 205 and there's 207. Have you got the key? L1. At least it's tidy. Hello. Are you okay, sir? You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. Must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. But it's sore as hell. Your head is bleeding. It looks deep. Um. I bet there's something in here what we can use. There we go, there's a cupboard. Pain colours? Necofrin 100 antibiotics. Administer to combat infection. 
Can we give him? Paraphenol anti-fever. Administer only in cases of high fever. Alright, we don't... He doesn't have a high fever, does he? Um... What's this? I should disinfect his cuts. Oh well, there you go. We need like some sort of rag. Help questions. I'll help him first and ask questions later. I knew it was the top one. Because when I got to this point here, it crashed. <laughs> uh, when I did this next stroke here, the game crashed. So let's see if it'll crash again. Hey, we're all right. There. At least it won't get infected. Yeah, so, uh, I'll try and edit it out so you probably wouldn't have uh, seen it. Right, what we're doing now? Questions? I'll help him first and ask questions later. Uh, antibiotics. Please. Necofrin 100 antibiotics. Administer to combat infection. Right. We'll give him these. Here. Take this. It should do you some good. What is it? It's an antibiotic. An antibiotic? I'm no doctor, but I don't think there's any risk of infection with a broken rib. Okay, I'll see if I can find anything else. <laughs> oh well. What's the other one? There's one more which I didn't actually pick up on the first one. It must be this one, whatever it is. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Okay. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. Hey, sir, you can have these. Here. Take this. It should do you what some good. It? It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. You doing? I can't afford to wait. He's, uh, yeah, taking a lot of painkillers, mate, doesn't make your ribs bloody heal. heal. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shower. All right, let me help you. I'll wait here until you come out. Let me know if you need anything. Why don't you just go in and join him? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're peeking, are you? Talk to me. That way I'll know if you pass out. What's your name? Madison. Are you staying in the hotel? No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Don't ask me why. Whenever I get too exhausted, I uh, I come and spend a night here. I'm I'm just passing through. And what else do you do, Madison? Apart from fixing up strangers. I'm a photographer. I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. Oh, she thinks she's going to be the origami killer. I I'm an architect. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> like, we don't know who the killer is yet, do we? But she thinks that, um, since she's seen that now. Could uh, change the story. Nothing out there. It's a nice little room, isn't it, for, like, just one person or, well, maybe two, just to crash out a bit, you know. Just like a square room. That's all you need, isn't it? A square room with a uh, shower and a toilet, really. Thanks for staying. I feel a lot better now. Okay. I better get going, then. By the way... You never told me your name. Ethan. Be careful, Ethan. <laughs> right. 
What are we doing? Oh, he's got that box on here. I forgot about that. Ah, I wonder if we could have found that box when he was in the shower with her. I didn't really go to the, the bed, did I? Let's see what we've got. Because these are like the puzzles, what we have to do, don't we? Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? The old power plant in the street. Was that the first time? Sorry? Oh, we just shot that man, didn't we? First time you killed somebody. <laughs> it always does something to you the first time. Then you get used to it. Yeah. I'm not sure I want to get used to it. That's him. You're a slap Porter? Yeah. Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Oh. Oh. Shit, don't just stand there. He's gonna get away. Uh oh, quick times. Yeah. Hi, bro. That is, uh... Cheers, yeah. Oh, wait. I pressed that then. I pressed circle when it actually told me. Cheats this game. Absolute cheats. I tell ya. I bloody tell ya. Cheats at this. <laughs> I'll shut up now. Alright, get out of the way. Oh, that way. Get out of the way, sir. Oh yeah, that's going to make a difference, isn't it? Shot an apple at me. Ooh, wrong one. I hit left, then? Left, aren't you? X. Uh, up. Up. Yes, we got him. No, we haven't. He's going to shot this fish out of this. Ice. What's he doing here? Come on. Take all chickens. What a... There was live chickens in a bloody restaurant. I know you have you can have crabs and lobsters and stuff, but you don't know chickens. Oh he's got his gun out again. Blake. Where the fuck is Blake? Damn place is freezing. My hands are numb. I don't really want to kill him. Come on. Show your ugly bastard face. No way he's escaping. I'm gonna get that bastard. I, in all fairness, you can probably see him through here. You just... What, you just got on the Shit. floor? Where'd he go? I can't see anything here. And look for his footprints. You would that's what you would have done. That's the easiest way to do it. Get on the ground and look on the floor to see if you can see where he stood. Ow. Well this guy's up to something, isn't he? Get off. I eat up then. 
Oh. This time it looks like we got our origami killer. One way up. Oh. Come on. Oops. Wrong button. <laughs> That's when I'm washing my button up and down. Right. Let's see what we've got. We're going to look. What's this? Typewriter. Back off. Look in his drawer. Oh, he's in here, look. Make sure that's there. Um, what's in this bottom drawer here? Whiskey, it looks like. I don't. I don't mind whiskey, but I can't drink it as like it's just there on my desk, you know. If I had a choice of not to drink whiskey and to drink whiskey, I'll probably say not because I'm not like I said, I'm not really a, f a fan of it. Right, let's see what's over here. Fatigue. All the newspapers are talking about Sean Mars, the kid who disappeared. I needed the rest. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started. What was the point in us uh, sitting down there? I'm not going to go any chairs. Let's have a look in here. It's probably some case files. Uh, nothing in there at all. Thank you. Let's have a look in here. Again, nothing in there. Excellent. See what's out the window. Clearly, that was nothing in the window. Have a look at it. Nothing there. Can't breathe this goddamn humidity. Hope it stops raining soon. Got certificates. This heading out. Oh, it's his bedroom. Ah, the draw here. What's in here? Was either him or his dad. It was someone. Nice little room, this. You're gonna go to sleep. He said he was tired, didn't he? I could have got up then. I don't know if I stay here. Will this do anything? Right, it looks like he's just doing his animations again. Okay, let's get up. Oh, God. Um. Hello, sir. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Oh, sir. Can I come in? Sure. I've just noticed he's got a nice bedroom and everything, right? His bedroom looks proper well done out. And look at all the, like, the paper and everything coming off the walls. Let me take your coat. And this this room just looks like worn down. <laughs> you want a drink? Yes, glass of water, please. Take a seat, I'll get it. Oh, and the kitchen as well, the kitchen's the same. What's in here? Oh, how convenient. There's a glass of water there. Didn't really expect to see her again. Wonder what she wants. There you go, miss. Thanks. 
Can we sit down here? Uh, I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. Yeah, read this. Alan Winter. Uh, not particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation? Um... I'm sorry, Lauren, but that is out of the question. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Uh, it's dangerous. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous, and I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope may be your only link to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. To be fair, if that's evidence, then You'll she can't take it, can she? Lord. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? <sighs> We're partners. I think we're here. She's in the car, wasn't she? There she is. Looks like we're going in a house. This is Detective. Uh, yeah, you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I New go. partner. <laughs> I've got a name. <laughs> oh well, who cares? She'll probably end up dying or something. Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wood tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. There's a lot of rainfall. Like of heavy rain. <laughs> What's going on? Kramer must be loaded. What do you think he paid for all this shiny crap? <laughs> we'll discuss Kramer's decor another time. Are we gonna be here long? This right, okay, so weeks. I'm gonna go find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come. Where are we back. going? Okay. Okay. Just let me know if you need me. Do you know where he is? Be easy to find Hey man, you think you can help me out? Do I look like a dealer? Get out of here! <laughs> Let me through. Whiskey straight up, no ice. I wonder if we can get drunk. 
down it. That'll take your mind off things, right? Finding someone who wasn't smashed or doped up to the gills would be a miracle. And I need one right now. Um. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Where is Gordy? Upstairs? Hello, sir. Anyone here? Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Don't know why they have that goddamn music so loud. Can't hear myself thinking here. Right, is there any stairs? That a girl? Hey. Good looking girl. Keep your mind on the job, Scotty. Okay. Gotta find excuse me. Nobody allowed upstairs. Got to find a way to get them away from the stairs. Long enough for me to be able to slip back. Excuse me. I'm looking for Gordy. I saw him going upstairs. Not there we go. What a surprise. So we need to start something. Maybe a little guest relations incident will bring over our goons for a bit of customer service. How are we gonna do this? Full table? Do we need to start a fight or anything? Oh, get off there. I'm at a dead end. Maybe I'll take a flyer on one of Lauren's ideas. That was pointless. Bust them. Maybe bust a few heads. Yeah, tempting, but not such a good idea. Too many goon-shaped reinforcements around here. Those two goons and me seeing Gordy don't mix. Gonna have to think of another way to get rid of. Maybe a little guest relations incident will bring over our goons for a bit of customer service. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing in here. You have a piss. <laughs> really? It flush the toilet, bro. There we go. And wash your hands. Nice sink. Do like a diversion type of thing. But what we're gonna do? Whoa! You see that guy over there? Do you know what he said about you? What he say? The bastard! <laughs> Get up my way, quick, we need to uh, oh, go through this door. There we go. I'm just casually walking up the stairs. Somewhere. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Nice swimming pool there. Wouldn't want to go out in that weather like though. Alright, let's walk around here. Probably in this door here, isn't he? <laughs> Hello, sir. Mr. Kramer. Shh, this is the best part. <laughs> My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. 
I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Totally forgot that we had that woman with us as well. <laughs> What's he watching? <laughs> I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! What do you want? Um. A witness saw Not little sure. Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw it. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? Okay, so you're a good Samaritan taking kids home who happen to get lost right next to your limousine? Now be a nice guy and tell me something I can believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Getting the piss, is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! Here we go. Boosh! Missed! Boosh! Go on, Shelby lad! Going off here. He's just laughing his head off. He's got a gun. Ow. I wonder if, like, if I miss every single one of these, like, Shelby will die. This is the type of game what happens if you, if you don't play out what it's supposed to do. It changes the course of the game. Which is pretty cool. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. So much for your guards, mate.